Now, we're back. We're back. So, you see this interstate over here? Yep. Took a load for uh, one of my other customers. Picked up the load sometime in the morning. Got to the wheel about 1 p.m. Didn't get off the wheel to midnight. Um, that's all you need to know. Um, that right there is the only work available that I got right now in West Texas. Um, of course, I got another contract that requires the Texas DOT number in which I can get that $4,000 tomorrow because things are not open today. But, but, it's kind of weighing my options, you know. Do I want to uh, take the chance and uh, get that, get that, pay thousand dollars and go with that customer? Because uh, then I will have three customers out here, but only two are running right now. Or do I want to? get on this interstate over here and uh, you know disappear so I told y'all I had one of my spies you know uh, go check things out some of y'all said you know hey I think I know who the spy is it's Kali of course it's Kali what else is he what else do I got him here for so Kali his carrier that he worked for they pull for their customers so you know Kali uh, go out to the well and, uh, you know, he, uh, got out there and, uh, took him about, he told me, like, 10 hours to get off the wheel. I said, okay, that's good enough. That's all I need to know. Um, I'm getting on the interstate. Yeah, I'm getting on the interstate. So, today is my last day in West Texas. I'm going to pack up and get on this interstate and, uh, Still gonna be making money. I'm just, we, I'm just leaving West Texas, so uh, that's where we at with it. I will not be paying a thousand dollars for the Texas DOT number, although I still got, you know, I can still do it in the future. But you know, uh, if I want to sit on the wheel 10, 12 hours, which I don't mind doing, no, I do mind in this truck. If I was in that blue truck, it'd be different. See, if I was in that blue truck. I would be on playing. I would be playing PlayStation, Grand Theft Auto, a big tall refrigerator, and I wouldn't care. But in this little jail cell right here, you know, 10, 12 hours can get to you. Okay, so you know, this is as you can see, it can get to you. Okay, so like I said, I'm finna get on this interstate. You know, uh, when you got your own authority, you never, you never uh, stuck. You know. I don't have to quit no carrier. I don't have to pull, you know, decals off the truck. You know, I don't have to do any of that. All I got to do when I'm done is just get on the interstate. You know, everything is paid for. I don't owe nobody out here uh, money. I didn't borrow money from like mechanics or try to get, you know, none of that nonsense. So, you know, when it's time for, hey, when it's time to go, it's time to go. And unfortunately, unfortunately, or fortunately for, for the Super Tech guys, maybe. Andrew is leaving West Texas. So I'm going to uh, pack everything up. Now I can only drive one truck at a time, obviously. So the white truck coming with me, I'll come back for the blue truck. But uh, yeah, this is my last day in West Texas. So the next video y'all see, <laughs> I'll be somewhere else. But uh, we got a long drive. We got a long drive. Probably won't get to where I'm going until tomorrow. Thinking about, do I need to stop at uh, any chrome shops or CB shops along the way? That I'm not sure about. I may need to stop at a CB shop. There ain't no CB shops out here, so yeah, I probably do need to stop at a CB shop. But here, what time is it? Damn, it's already 2 o'clock. Yeah, ain't no CB shop gonna be open. I had to spend the night at the CB shop. And I don't know if I'm gonna do that. I'm trying to go all the way. 
I'm trying to go all the way, but um, will I be back in West Texas in the future? Um, uh, you know, well, yeah, I will be because my blue truck right here, so you know, but um, like I said, it's just time for me to get on this interstate, you know, uh, work got slow, my main customer, you know, pretty much uh, went down on me out here, and uh. You know, I got more than one customer, but it's just my main customer. When I was doing work for him, it was in and out. You know, even though all of my customers pay the, they, they pretty much pay the same thing. All the rates about the same. It's just, you know, like I said, sitting 12 hours waiting to unload. You know, uh, now don't get me wrong, man. I can still make two thousand dollars plus a day doing that. You know, it's just obviously you take the first load. Let's say from midnight to, uh, if they're going to take 12 hours, from midnight to noon, that's one load. From noon to midnight, that's another load, and that's your $2,000 plus dollars. That is still, you do that seven days a week, that's still going to get you the $10,000 plus dollars. You're not going to burn any fuel, you know. It's just, like I said, the truck that I'm in is not comfortable for uh, that type of sitting. You know, now if I was in the blue truck over there, it'd be different. I would do that all day long because it's, it's kind of free money. So, um, you know, that's where we at with it, y'all. So, you know, I'm probably finna go uh, get a haircut, tell my team that, uh, you know, I'm leaving, which they already know. I've been telling them this for the last 30 days because... You know, whether they believe me or not, I don't know. But I, I tell you, I don't know. I've been telling them about that interstate. I say, man, you know, sure. Interstate sure do look like, you know, I need to be on them. <laughs> uh, like I said, yeah. Today's the last day. I just put fuel in here, about $500. That'll get me to probably Dallas. Then I get some more fuel. No, that's gonna give me five hundred dollars. That was eighty gallons. So, well, I just fill up again when I get to Dallas because I think fuel is cheap out there. I'm not sure that all this shit over five dollars a gallon, but yep. Oh, as far as the blue truck, quick update on it. We got the headlights installed. I just did all the uh, electrical work for the headlights because. For whatever reason, when I turned the power on, the uh, the new headlight on the right side wasn't working, so I had to follow the wires. Found that it was like two wires cut, so I fixed that up. And uh, now all the lights on the truck is working. Everything works. Um, no issue. Well, we got one issue. I need a new fan clutch. The fan is wobbling. Um, I didn't notice it. Justin Lewis, he came by to uh, talk business with me. And he noticed the uh, the fan was wobbling, so he told me, yeah, go ahead and replace that. So I uh, called the dealership out here, Freightliner. And then I called Fleet Pride. Then I called um, Peterbilt. So Peterbilt said I got to call Freightliner because it's a Freightliner part. But anyways, they don't have any of them in stock at none of these three places I just named. But the fan clutch is about $750. And then my mechanic can come do it whenever I can get it. But like I said, it's not in stock, so I wasn't able to get it. Um, I'm leaving. I don't need to get it. But when I come get the truck, you know, I'll make sure to have the part, get it put on, and then continue. Now, the truck is still bobtail. There's nothing wrong with it. Um, it's just if I put a load on it, then, you know, it may stress the fan because it's wobbling. Or maybe it just needs to be tightened up. I don't know. I haven't had a mechanic look at it. But I'd rather just put on a new uh, clutch fan, you know, no problem. But that's where we at with it, man. That's your update. Like I said, time just ran out. It's just, it's just time to get on the interstate, you know. And luckily, I got that option. Not everybody got that option. Some people got to stay out here, and you know. Uh, now, now it's it's when I when I talk about it's bad for me. I'm just talking about me as a motor carrier. I'm not saying it's bad for everybody else in the world. There's a lot of carriers that's got other customers that I don't got, they probably are moving. I'm just talking about me and my situation requires me to get on this interstate, okay? I'm pretty sure Detmore and Horizon and all those other good companies are still moving and I see the sandboxes, Liberty and all that's still moving. That's all good, great. 
But where I'm going, I'm getting on the interstate. You know, <laughs> hey, so, you know, uh, I don't want y'all to think that West Texas is bad. You know, cancel your flights, wait to see where Andrews. Nah, man, go, go get your money. Don't worry about what I got going on. Just know that me, I'm on the interstate. So now I've been telling y'all this for you. I've been trying to, hey, I'm, I may be getting on the interstate. Because I already know when, when the money slow up, money slow up, bank account looking funny, money ain't coming in like it used to be. And I'm like, man, wait a minute. Now, hold on now. Hold on now. I feel like the company driver's making more than me. That was going on around here. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's, yeah, yeah. I've been looking at the interstate mapping. I've been doing some mapping. And the map, when I drew the line, it said, <laughs> it said to go that way. <laughs> I'll talk to y'all later.